Welcome to our community. Susie Thomas here with you this morning. We are visiting with Tony Burke and Jackie Hostetler, both from Stark State College. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. So big, exciting times happening at Stark State. Uh, Tell us what's happening on, uh, let's see, April 6th. On Thursday, April 6th, we will be having our open house. It's going to be in the evening from 5.30 to 7.30. And the location will be our business and entrepreneurial center, which is directly next to our brand new gateway center. Is there a reason that you're doing an open house rather than people come and tour at all times throughout the year? Uh, Why this one day? The open house allows for us to have all of our admissions, financial aid, academic divisions, all of our student services pulled together in one location at one time. So students are able to come in and talk with everyone that they would possibly need to talk to at one given time and come in and see everything, take a tour, see the college, everything is open. It's just a really nice experience for them. Have you done this before or is this new? We have. So we did this in the fall semester. We had a fantastic turnout. We had extremely good reviews from the students and the families who came that evening. They were able to talk to the different academic divisions, the department chairs, the faculty, take tours of the labs, see hands-on demonstrations. We had our culinary students there who were preparing food at their table. We had a welding lab simulator. Mm. Our science division were doing science experiments where they were using dry ice to freeze different items. And it was just a lot of really cool experiences for them to come and see. And so we had such a great event in the fall that we wanted to do it again this spring. So that way, maybe we have some current High school seniors still undecided on what they want to do or where they want to go, uh, or maybe juniors and sophomores who are going ahead and preparing, or just those adults who are looking to get into the workforce or change careers. Uh, so we are we have a little bit to offer for a lot of different people. How many people should we plan on bumping into on campus that day? Well, hopefully, if we have a turnout similar to the one we had in the fall semester, we had over 500 students with families attend in the fall semester. So it was a really, really successful event. Just amazing. How many students does Stark State have now? Right now, um, on average, I don't have the exact figure, but we're about between eleven and 12,000 students. Currently? Currently. On ca- that's not online. That's-, no, that's, that's combined with our main campus, our satellite locations, our college credit plus students, and our online students. Oh, so there mm-hmm. are you do offer online classes Absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yes. Well, I'm interested in the idea that you do have satellite locations because I think maybe some folks are not aware of that. Let's talk about it. It's not just right there on Frank Road. Let's talk about what else you've got. We have several satellite or off-site locations to offer for our students. The main campus is the one that most students are familiar with, and that's located on Frank Avenue in North Canton. We also have a satellite in Akron. Uh, This is our new off-site location. Currently, it is located on White Pond uh, while we, in Akron, while we are currently building our our new location, which will be on the corner of Perkins and... Route 8. I mean, it's right there. You You can see it from right Um, there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But for for the time being, we are located directly off of the White Pond exit in Akron. We also have our satellite location in Alliance. We have another in downtown Canton that's on the corner of 3rd and Cherry. And we have one in Barberton as well. One of the most brilliant ideas that's come along in quite a while was the offering of free transportation to your campuses, to all of of the campuses or satellite locations. Um, How did that come about? And who came up with that idea? Because they're not getting paid enough. Uh, People much smarter than Jackie (laughs) and myself. Um, That was done um, not only with the the good folks at Metro and Sarda, but with with our uh, business uh, people. Uh, business staff. Yeah, it's wonderful because all you need is if it's for staff and students, if you just have an ID, you show it to the driver and you can take any of the routes for free, get them to campus and all that. What you, what they don't realize is it's, it's for any route. So if, if on a Saturday afternoon you need to go to the grocery store and you need transportation, you show your ID, you, you wow. take the bus for, for nothing. Uh, it's, a, it's a great perk for our students. Um, as you know, Susie, most of them are you know, they, they they need some form of transportation, mm-hmm. um, and you never want that to be a roadblock to somebody having some kind of future exactly. um, and get their education. So, uh, what a what a what a perk for this to happen! And and the fine folks at at Metro and Sarda will be on 
campus that day at the open house to, to talk to people, um, let them know what it is. We'll have the schedules of the routes and all that kind of stuff to, to kind of help explain it to the parents and the prospective students and things of that nature so that they, they are ready and they realize, okay, this can't be one of those obstacles to my education, you know. How tricky was it being able to time routes and transportation, the time to get from here to there with the time that classes begin? Is that kind of a tricky process? I don't know how tricky it was for them. Um, there's roughly about five different times that it comes to main campus from Akron. Um, so it really is able to help out any student that might be coming as a traditional student or mm-hmm. one that comes after work or before work or things of that nature. Um, you know, they've done this all before at yeah. Metro and Sarda, and they handle it uh, beautifully with us, too, and, and have made it very convenient for our students, which is which is great. So easy transition, particularly mm-hmm. for high school students. You get picked up, you get taken to school, you get brought back home again and at no cost to you. Yeah, and I think the nice thing, too, is um, especially if you're thinking about, let's just think about the new Akron location. Once um, students are in that kind of um, routine and then we move to Perkins, it'll be the same type of routine because they're not mm-hmm. that far away, you know, mm-hmm. and, and that way they'll have already been doing it. Uh, they'll continue to do it. Um, and it's just a nice way for people to make sure that they can get around, you know, and very convenient, you know, that they drop off right across the street. It's it's a wonderful opportunity for Pretty us. Pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. The degree you get and the degrees you get at Stark State prepare you for so many things. Can you talk us through that? People are job ready when they get a, a two-year degree? Are they ready to maybe transfer that over into a, a four-year degree? Tell us what you can do when you're done. The vast majority of the degree programs that we have at Stark State are what are considered terminal degrees. And what that means is that a student is job ready upon completion of that program. We do have transfer opportunities for all of our degrees uh, because we do know that there are those students who come in that their intent is not to stop at the associate degree level, but they want to go on toward their bachelor's or master's or more. So we do have the transfer agreements in place. But that student does have that option that the vast majority of our programs are preparing them to go directly into the workforce. In addition to the degree programs, we also have a lot of short offerings for the students as well. So we have some students who, the the faster they can get into the workforce, the better. So we have a lot of career enhancement and one-year certificate options where it provides them the training that they need. All of them are built into the degree program, so if they wanted to continue on to finish with the degree, they could, but if they needed a credential a little bit faster just to be able to turn around and get into that workforce, we have those opportunities as well. Tell me about the students themselves. What age of student are we talking about is the typical student at Stark we State? We have a little bit of anything and everything. Uh, so we have a very large grouping of what are called College Credit Plus students, and that means they are taking advantage of taking college courses while they're in high school at mm-hmm. no cost to the student. So they can start that program as early as the seventh grade, though most traditionally we have sophomores, juniors, seniors, etc. but we do have a lot more younger coming in every day. We also have your traditional 18 years old coming right out of high school. Uh, We have some students who maybe took a few years off after high school and decided what they wanted to do. So they're coming back now maybe in their early 20s. We have the 30, 40, 50, and 60-year-olds. And I believe it was just a few years ago we had a pair of a husband and wife who were close to their 70s, if not in their 70s, who graduated from our nursing program. They saw a need in their community with some um, people in their area that they wanted to be able to have more assistance with. And they were very healthy individuals themselves and came through and finished the nursing program and sat for their board and have their RN. That is absolutely inspiring. So I'm picturing, you kind of knocked me off my feet with the seventh grade. Uh, I'm picturing these little Doogie Housers running around Stark State. What in the world are they majoring in? They are, when they are a College Credit Plus student, they don't need to choose a major. What they are doing, most traditionally, will take those common general education courses that any undergraduate program is going to require. So that is usually what they're coming in and taking. Their college composition, maybe their speech class, maybe their psychology. Um, but they are, this, the state allows them to come in starting with the seventh grade and up, and they can take advantage. And we've found fantastic opportunities for the students who are starting at the younger age, and they're, they're prepared and they're ready for it, and they're taking these courses. We've had a large group that are ready to graduate with their associate degree 
at the same time that they're graduating from high school. Oh, my goodness. So it goodness. allows them even more opportunities. And then we'll have some who will choose to stay on at Stark State and continue to finish if they hadn't already finished. We have scholarships meant to support them if that was their intent. They start College Credit Plus, want to finish on with us and finish that degree. Or we have those who come back and pursue a second degree because there was something else they had an interest in. For example, a health program that most have that age restriction. You can't do your clinicals until you're 18. So some will come back and then continue on to finish up with that secondary degree. Well, and in a field like health, it's ever-changing. It's just nice to come brush up, isn't it? Do Correct. you get people who are in practice right now, we practicing do. nurses and so forth? We do. We have a lot that will come back um, in the healthcare field, in the education field, yes. in IT for continuing education because they are ever-changing. Technology is always changing. Modern advances are always new. So they'll come back and get some more of that training to keep themselves up to date and ready for their workforce. Talk about affordability. So we have one of the lowest tuitions in our region. We are at $153.60 per credit hour, which is phenomenally low as compared to um, institutions in our area. And what's nice is because of our goal to make all of our programs as transferable as possible, when we have those students who want to come in and start their first two years and do know they want to transfer on, we found that just in tuition alone, they're saving usually between ten to 15000 just in tuition by starting with Stark State before transferring on and finishing at their four-year degree. So how do you work with the other colleges and universities in the area? I'm, do you all sit down together and say, you know, we can do a lot. We can be a natural feeder for you. We do. For all these students who we're making it so that more people can go to college because rather than have it be like not an option, they can start here and then transfer on to others. How, how does that work, those articulation agreements you get going? They do. So each of our individual departments are responsible for making that connection with the universities. Um, and our, our provost, um, Dr. Lady Gibson Shreve, is phenomenal with making sure that those conversations are going on continuously between the departments. And what they do is they, they're in contact with the University of Akron, with Kent State, with Malone, alone with Walsh, with the Ohio State, all of these institutions to sit down and they compare the curriculums, they compare the courses, they make sure that things are lined up, and they'll they'll write these transfer agreements that make the transition for our students to the four-year degree very smooth. And we are getting a lot of information out there right now. People can get this in, in manageable bites, so sit down one-on-one -on -one with people at an open house coming up where and when and what will happen. Correct. So we will have the open house at the Business and Entrepreneurial Center, which is directly next to our Gateway Center, Thursday, April 6th from 530 to 730 in the evening. And they are welcome to show up at any time between those two hours and come in and receive information. It's just on a walk-in basis. We will have admissions, financial aid, We'll have a table for SARTA. We'll have people there discussing our military services, our College Credit Plus courses. Uh, we will have food, refreshments for anyone who comes and would like to um, break bread with us that evening. <laughs> we have uh, a lot of giveaways we'll have going on that night. We'll be doing tours. So if they would like to walk around the campus, we'll have our student ambassadors providing tours where they can come in and see the labs, see the classrooms, see what things would look like. Let's give the physical address one more time, a phone number and a website. We are located at 6200 Frank Avenue, Northwest, North Canton, and the zip code is 44720. A phone number to contact for more information would be 330-494-6170, extension 4228. That will give you directly to admissions. And our website is www.starkstate.edu. Great. We're going to be back with Tony and Jackie after these words. You're listening to Our Community.